In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add global style kit functionality to Elementor for free using a third party plugin. This allows you to make changes to styling like text changes, font changes, font colors, um, padding sizes, column sizes, all kinds of things that can then be applied globally to all your pages across your whole site when you change it in one location. Brizzy has this. Elementor does not. This is how we can get it into Elementor for free. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you like the kind of thing, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we're getting started on this tutorial right now. So that we're all on the same page, I should first explain what a global style is. A global style is basically a change to design that you can do in one location, and it updates it everywhere. Before page builders, you used to do this in what's called the CSS style sheet. You would have CSS that, for example, selects every piece of text, like this text right here, a paragraph block. It selects every paragraph block on your site, and it says make it this font family, make it this size, make it this color, all the different things you can apply to fonts, you can then change in one location and it applies it everywhere. And every time you want to have a new type of style, you'd add a new tag to your website as in a CSS class or a CSS ID. And then you could use that in your style sheet and make changes globally that happen throughout your site. And now we're in the age of page builders. And for a while, that had gone away. With Elementor, Elementor did not have that functionality. It still does not have that functionality built in. You can change styles on one page. You have some limited ability to change styles that apply globally, very limited. But there is an add-on called WP Analog that allows you to create style kits, which will bring you back to the ability to make a style change in one spot and have it applied everywhere. And you may know that Brizzy, another page builder, has this built in already. It has global styles built right into it. It's super slick. Elementor, I think, will have it in the future. It doesn't have it now, but at least we have a third party plugin we can use to make that happen. So let's make that happen right now. Let's go into our dashboard. Let's go to plugins and add new. And let's look up Elementor style kit. And the one we're going to use is this one right here. It's got a lot of great reviews, not too many installs yet, but I think this is going to increase because it is a great option to create global style kits. A lot of people don't know about it. People who come into WordPress in the age of page builders, they don't know how it was done before. So the people who know how it was done before, they miss these things. And so they're very happy when they come along. But as new people who are learning now start to learn the benefits of using style kits and global styles, this install number will greatly increase. Compatible with the current version, updated three weeks ago, everything looks good. What you should always do before you install a new plugin is back up your site because you never know if something's gonna go wrong. It's pretty rare these days, but it still happens. There's a link in the card up above and the description down below if you need help backing up your site. I'm ready to install now, so I'm gonna click on install now and then activate. And now we have a new menu item called style kits. And this plugin also adds new functionality in various areas that we're gonna go over. So I'm gonna to go to templates this plugin also gives you a number of free templates right here. There is a pro version for this plugin coming. Maybe it's here already. Let's try this. Uh, no, coming soon with Style Kits Pro. So there's a pro version on the way. Right now it's all free. And I assume that these templates that you see here will stay free. And then they'll add pro ones. But I'm not sure. Under Style Kits, this is where we have our Style Kits. So they have six predefined ones, which we can import and then customize however we like and then resave as our own. So I'm just going to install one of these. Let's just go with architect. That's now imported. And this is really all you do here. If you go to edit, there isn't very much going on. This is not where you edit the actual style kit. I'm going to show you in a few minutes where you do edit the style kit. But first, let's just finish looking at the settings of this plugin. We have the ability now that we've imported a style kit to choose it as our global style. This means whenever we make a new page, it will have this style kit applied, which is usually what you want. You can also sync color palettes and style kit colors by default. It says here the Elementor color palette will be populated with style kits of global colors. This is what you want to do if you want to have a global style set. So I'm going to add those or check those. Under miscellaneous, we can opt in to anonymous data collection. You do that if you like. Click on more info to make sure you know what they're collecting if you do go for that option. The rollback feature, if there's any problems with a future plugin update, you can always roll back to previous versions that you know worked. For example, we know this one works because nothing's blown up yet, but the next update might blow something up. So we can always roll back to the older version. That's a great feature to have for any plugin. 
With this option, we could remove typographic elements or changes to typography in the elements or in the templates that we import using this plugin on that import page or the template page we saw earlier. If you click on more info, it gives you more info about it. And just to confirm, that's what it says. It says right here, remove styling from custom typography settings from Elementor's widgets on imported templates. So I'm 99% certain that just means the ones you import through the plugin, like we saw earlier. This does not mean the Elementor templates that you created previously. I am 99% certain that's what that means. And remove data on install. This is a great feature to have as well for plugins because a lot of plugins, when you install them, they add metadata to your database. And that metadata quite often stays there because this option is not available. So I'm going to check this because I want to remove the data after I uninstall the plugin because I want my database to be cleaner. Save that. Under Stock Kits Pro, we see again Pro coming soon. And now we've kind of gone over everything we need to do in the settings. If we go to our pages, let's just open our homepage with Elementor, with the editor. We now have this little notification for style kits. Okay, that's great. Got it. And now where do we actually use these style kits? Well, if we go to settings and click on style, we have a lot of style kit options here. If you do this on your site before you install site kit, you will only have, let's see, which one is it? None of these actually. You have a, a body style one, but it's different than the one here. They've added more options to it. So you under style, under the main settings, and then style, you only have a body style option. Everything else has been added by this plugin and allows you to customize all these things and have that all globally applied, which is pretty awesome. So let's go through what each of these means step by step. Under style kits, we can choose our style kit. Currently, we only have one installed, and that's the one we have. We can make changes here. For example, if I let's just change something. Make the background color a light gray. It's detected that we made a change. Now this button that was gray is now green. We can update this style kit, which is the one we downloaded earlier. Better idea is to keep the one we downloaded earlier as it is and click Save As to create a new one. So I'm going to create this or call this WP Learning Lab Styles. Save. Got it. And now we have WP Learn Lab Styles selected. And we have our original the way it is, the way it was downloaded. And we use this one now as the basis to create our new styles. And now when we make changes, we can click on Update Style Kit and it updates our new custom one, not the one we imported. Under Body Style, we can change things that apply to the body of the site. You saw we changed the color of the background a moment ago. We can put image in the back. If you've used Elementor for any amount of time, these options are very familiar to you already. If you haven't yet, use Elementor some more, and these will all be very intuitive. The body typography is where we change typography of the body of the site. Now that normally this would apply to everything that's not a heading, everything that's in a paragraph tag or a div tag or a span tag, anything that's not in a heading tag would be the body typography. For example, that would be this one. This is a paragraph. Uh, these ones are paragraphs down here. So if we come back in here and change our body typography, change our font to something a little more loud so we can see there's a definite change here racing sans one and normally elementor updates right away but nothing happened and that's not your fault it is in fact a setting instead of elementor that's preventing it so i'm going to just save this update our style kit and then come back out to our main dashboard go to elementor and settings under general, we have these two options, disable default colors, disable default fonts. Check those two boxes. This is basically Elementor overriding anything that we're doing. So we're disabling Elementor's ability to do that. So save changes, come back into here, refresh, and now we see our fonts here are updated. Now if I go and change it again, by typography, and let's do Quigley. Now we see the update right away, which is what we want. Let's see, we have heading typography, same idea. This applies to headings. We have a default option for all the headings. We can also override those for individual heading types. So if you wanted most of your headings to be poppins, for example, and just your H2s to be something else, you pick it here and that custom one will be applied to H2s and all the rest will just be the defaults, which you can see here, family, the default, and this is the default that we set. 
And inside any of these typography elements, it's not just the font family you can change. You have all the other elemental options available to you as well for typography. And you can see them here. And you change all those and we applied across all those heading types or body types or whatever it is that you're setting. Change your heading sizes. You can use Excel, XXL, XL, large, medium, small, and you can change the sizes of those. If you want to learn more about these, click on learn more. Take you to a blog post on their site. You can learn more about it. Text sizes, similar options, learn more if you need help. Global colors, this will set a lot of the main colors throughout your site in one spot and then it will be applied across the website, which is the dream of building websites. Uh, the nightmare of building websites is if you have 100 pages and you have to make a change on every single one of those 100 because you're no longer using CSS, you're using a page builder. So having this option really saves time, being able to change colors globally. Of course, the typography globally as well. All this global work helps save a lot of time. We have a lot of options for buttons, customize those globally. We have outer section padding. Elementor does have some of this for global options as well. And every option, or pretty much every option you've seen here, we have a desktop option and we have tablet and mobile. And so you can change this for any device. Under column gaps, you can change those globally as well. And under tools, we have some cool options one is reset everything. That's less cool if you click it by accident. You can click on reset and that will remove all the custom styles you added in this area where we are now. And it will also remove any style kits applied to the page. And so you're basically back to starting over. You can export the custom CSS as well, which means you can make your changes, export the CSS, put it into your style sheet or into the customizer in the additional CSS section of the customizer. And then you can remove this plugin. So you can have one less plugin on your site, which is pretty handy. You don't see that very often. Developers like to keep their plugins installed on your site because that ups their numbers in WordPress repository and all that good stuff. But this developer is allowing us just to take the CSS, remove the plugin and have one less plugin to worry about on our site. And now I'm just going to update what we have, make sure we're updated because we've gone through all the options in our style kit and I'm going to exit out of here and let's exit out of here. Yeah, there we go. Exit. Now, if we go to style kits and manage style kits, we have two now. The one we just created or adapted, it was the architect one that we've changed a little bit. And we want to make this now our global style kit. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to choose out a global style kit, WP Learn Lab Styles. Click on save changes. And now that is our main one. We can delete the other one. You can have as many style kits as you want. You can have different sections of your site have different style kits if you wanted. But most sites just have one. And I'm just going to trash this one. So we have just our main style kit. And now any new page we create will automatically have the style kit applied. And if we go to existing pages that we have not updated yet, we can click on quick edit and we can choose a style kit right here. Choose this one, click on update, and that style kit is applied to that page, which is pretty neat, I guess. It's quick. It's, it's a lot faster than having to go through each one. You can also bulk edit. So if you have thousands of pages, you can edit all of them. Select a style kit that you apply to all of them. And those changes apply throughout all those pages. And when you update that style kit in one location, it will then update across all of them, which is the big benefit of global style kits. Make a change in one place and it applies everywhere. And if you like Elementor and you want to learn how to use it even better, check out this playlist up here and this one down here. I have two playlists, one for Elementor Pro, one for Elementor Free. And I go through a whole lot of things that you can learn about Elementor to use it even better, to create even more awesome websites. So check out those playlists right there. If you like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.